Hi everyone, it's Rita. I have a humanity message for the first week of July. I've got my records open and the records of humanity the on planet Earth the first week of July. Um, and for those that aren't familiar with my site, I'm an Akashic record reader and accessor. I have a limited number of uh, readings uh, for uh, this month and um, they will be, they're 175, which is a discount off of the 250, I've, I've charged anywhere from 250 to 300 for reading, so, uh, but I feel like that's what I'm supposed to charge this month, so. Um, you can email me, smile citrine at Proton Mail for a reading. Um, and I also do quantum energy healing sessions, so if you want a healing session with me, I work with certain guides that I have. I work with Jesus and the Buddha and Edgar Casey and Quan Yen and Archangel Metatron. Um, so yeah, so if you're interested in a inter distance energy healing session, they're 60 minutes and they're the same, they're the same price. So, and they're pretty amazing as well. Uh, and I love going into your Akashic records. It's, it's a place where you've been known and loved all your lifetimes. Okay, so, um, okay, there's a bunch of messages here. So I'm just going to read what came through and then we'll just ask before I finish what else. Uh, so a lot of chaos on your planet right now. It's important not to take it in. Focus on really simple things like a homemade popsicle, children's laughter, remembering what made you laugh before you knew what laughter was, like watching children run in a sprinkler or slide on a slippy slide. Laughter and joy that come from an unforced place create waves of well-being frequency. Feel yourself being held in the palm of God Feel that safe, secure place. And then uh, they said, just know everything is always working out for you. As you transition this older dimension, it's like getting rid of an old coat that you've worn all the elbow, you've worn the elbows out and it doesn't look like it used to, but it feels comfortable, like home. But home is not the coat. Home is inside you. So the dimension that we're leaving has felt like home for a long time. And so there's a sense of not being able to go home or loss of home or that insecurity of not having that home, you know, place in you right now. A lot for a lot of people. Or they feel displaced and they feel like they need to get rid of a lot of stuff. And it's just all part of the transition. So really follow what feels good for your heart. Uh, when your cells tap into infinity and the power of creating with vibration and frequency. So when your cells tap into infinity and the power of creating with vibration and frequency, that is what you mainly are. You are energy. The spark of God exists in all your cells. It's life force energy, bio photons. You are light. You never need more light. You just need to be reminded every now and then of your light. Go out in nature, really see the trees and plants. Walk on the earth with no shoes. Be at one with the earth and your surroundings. Call in a spirit animal to join you. So if you don't know who your, what your spirit animal is, you can just think about the animal you feel most connected to, and that's probably your spirit animal. Like mine's a blue whale. So, so it's saying call in your spirit, they're saying call in your spirit animal to join you or a guide you feel connected to. So ask them to come with you when you walk out in nature or you're out during your day. But in nature, like have them, ask them questions, have them show you uh, what they like about something or draw it, draw a leaf, draw a rock, draw you know, a salamander, a uh, gecko, draw, I mean, I'm in the desert, so I'm think. I, you know, and I'm looking outside, I can see cactus. <laughs> so draw whatever is out there, like wherever in your surroundings you are, and if it's winter, you know, make time to get on nature as well where you are. Um, as you make this transition, you'll feel many things, but embrace gratitude and appreciation as it's the energy that will prop propel you into higher states of consciousness most easily. See how many 
uh, people you can find this week to make smile that you smile at from the in from inside you. So when you see them, make give them that smile like that's from inside you, and see what comes back to you without expectation. Know you are loved and supported always. All is well and getting weller. Out of this only good will come. You are safe, or I am safe. God bless you with this knowing always. So let's see what else. So you're kind of saying in some ways what's happening on the planet can feel like you're being like cut, uh, which is interesting. So it feels like in some ways a wounding. Um, But just like any wounding I'm hearing, um, use it as an opportunity to nurture yourself. And that can come from, nurturing yourself can come from many ways. Just like Rita's learning how to nurture herself with Marissa Peer's I am messaging. You know, I am lovable, I am loved, I am supported, I am powerful. I am magnificent, I am superb, I am confident, I am powerful, I am beautiful, I am loving, I receive love well, I love well, I love being loved, I love, you know, just all like, I am love, I am lovable, I am spiritual, I am wealthy, I am powerful, I am rich, I am a spiritual entrepreneur, I am happy, I am confident. Ooh, the hawk just went by. There's this mate, there's two hawks that live right outside and uh, it's a male and female and they just, the big one just went right by the window. So I am strong, I am connected, I am blessed and appreciative. And I am, so all those I am's, that's a way I can nurture myself. And as Marissa says, let all that sink in like butter on hot toast or warm toast. It just sinks into you. So take time every day to do the things that nurture you, that feel good to you, whether it's I am messaging um, or walking out in the earth and making those connections. And I'm hearing it's really important to connect with the earth right now. The earth is vibrationally and everything is going through the similar uh, upgrades and frequency changes. Um, may you realize that you're never alone. You know, shut your eyes and go into that oneness space. And if you can, take it into your cell. Uh, go through the myofascial in your body like it's just veils. And you go through the veils and then you find, you see your this beautiful system inside your body with all this space inside your body. Picture it as a lot of space, and this beautiful energy of this beautiful body making all these beautiful mechanical things going on. And then you see this, the pumping and the blood and the cells and just dive into a cell and you'll see all, see what, see what you see, the, the energy, the light, the mechanics working inside the cell, the, the energy swirling and then go to a distant part of that cell where there's nothing. It's just dark and just keep going there and see what you find and bring into you that sense of an un, the original cell that was unprogrammed and bring that energy back into your cell and have that light up your cell and then have your cells go all through your body like a symphony. Dun, 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 you know, like just going through and every other cell it touches, it pings and it light shines and it brings that energy into the cell. So, all right, that's enough for today. That's uh, the message for humanity this week. Blessings and love to you all. Um, may you grow in the knowing of how powerful and connected you are to everything. All right, much love to you all. Take care. Bye.